So I'll get the jump on this patrol. We've got two uh, brand new weapons in the ODST toolkit. We have your sound suppressed SMG. It's got a little bit of zoom, great for burst firing, taking down shields at close range, and the sound suppressed pistol. If you're a fan of the Halo 1 pistol, this one's pretty good too. Fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. You can zoom in, fire as well, and it's really great at getting headshots. If I can actually get a headshot. Oh, hard fail. And as I keep fighting through these Covenant patrols that I'm finding in the city, um, keep in mind this is classic Halo gameplay with a new ODST feel to it. One man all alone in the city. From the lighting to the music, everything's got kind of a film noir, mystery thriller vibe, and that's, that's what we were going for, to really give you a sense of uh, mystery as you're exploring the city. My basic mission as an ODST, find my friends, find the scattered members of my squad. I'm all alone. Well, actually, I'm not totally alone in the city. Uh, I've got one friend. The city superintendent. Now, the superintendent is the AI that runs the city. You know, he turns on the power. He uh, collects the trash, and he's been watching me ever since I dropped. He's been waiting for me to wake up, and he wants to help. And the best way to help me out? Well, he's given me a map. If I open up my uh, Pfizer database here, I'll see a big map of the city. The biggest environment we've ever created in a Halo game. Lots of fun, non-linear combat. And the superintendent has called out a bunch of places he thinks it would be useful for me to visit, such as the uh, Oni Alpha site. So I can select that location, and that's where I need to go. It's pretty far away. So I can drop uh, beacons as well. Sorry, the waypoints. And that'll help me on my way. So I selected the Alpha site, I got a waypoint set, I'll close the map, and you can see now up in the compass where I'm going, the Alpha site, is that blue diamond, and the waypoint that I set are the little green triangles. And these shift around, they tell me how far away I am, and it really helps me find my way. And the superintendent will help me too. He knows where I'm going, he'll keep me on track. Now the alpha site's about a kilometer away, so I'm just going to do a quick a quick teleport to get me there. Of course, this would never happen in the, in the real game. Now, when I get a little bit closer to where I need to be, You'll see I'm about you know, 10 meters away. And when I get into this area of interest, my heads up display will change, letting me know I'm close to something important. And I can turn on my visor and find it. It's right here, this detonator. Now, we're a little short on time. Um, you guys were in the briefing on Monday, so you've seen how the transitions work between the scenes. Let me quickly just do the transition to talk you through it one more time, and then uh, we'll switch over to Firefight, so Paul can talk you through that. So I found this thing on the ground, this explosives detonator. Now what we're doing is we're flashing back in time 
and we're going to fight from the point of view of Dutch. He was that red-haired guy that gave you your SMG in the opening cinematic. And you'll switch back and forth between the Rookie in the Nighttime City and other ODSTs during the day. And the big difference between the Nighttime City and the daytime missions, the flashback missions, is intensity. The Nighttime City is all about sort of low-intensity combat, exploration, being on your own. The daytime scenes are all about heavy weapons, high-intense action, being with your friends, taking on vehicles, and rocket launchers, just really, really classic Halo yeah. gameplay. But this ain't a job you want to run. that do it? Come on, tough guy, we gotta blow this bridge. Dutch, arm the other target. What about those rays? Forget about them, we got explosives to set. So at this point, you've met up with another ODST, Army, uh, Mickey, arm the target. and some Marines, and your job is to uh, take out this bridge before the Covenant can get to the Oni building, which, oddly enough, during the day is mysteriously not blown up and not on fire. Hmm. Hmm. So we're just going to arm the charges really quick. Oh, no, don't blow up on me. Of course, if you wanted to, you can stay on the bridge and use your Spartan laser, defend it as long as you want, but eventually you're going to run out of ammunition and you'll need to get back to the trigger. Come on, Super, unlock the keypad. Keep it clean. Respect public property. If you don't let us trigger those charges, in about five minutes, your data center's gonna be crawling with Covenant. So the superintendent's gonna unlock the trigger, and we're gonna light the fuse. Bridge tall accepted. Have a pleasant trip. So, that's just a really brief glimpse of one of the flashback missions. Um, and again, you'll fight all the way through, and then you'll go back to the nighttime city as the rookie, continue your search for clues, eventually, hopefully, finding all the members of your team and getting safely out of the city.